effects wise. Ah, uh, Southern Alabama when my grandma. This is just a parallel compressor. This is a slap. Um, this is a, a, think of it as a harmonizer. Um, this is a, a, a little bit of a plate reverb, a plate reverb and short delay. Uh, I was experimenting with this, didn't like it. Ah, uh, Southern Alabama where my grandma from. Some would call it home, some would call it a slum. And though we moved to California, switch, switch, switch up the slang. I'm just a Now, this parallel compression chain, all I'm doing is I'm using a couple of Waves plugins. Now, remember, this is being paralleled. Ah, uh, Southern. Ah, uh, Southern Alabama, where my grandma from. Some would call it home, some would call it a slum. And though we moved to California, switch, switch, switch up the slang. I'm just a California country boy at home on the rain. Yeah. Ah, uh, Southern Alabama, where my grandma from. Some would call it home, some would call it a slum. And though we moved to California, switch, switch, switch up. Now you're telling me, Dave, I didn't see any meters moving. Well, they're moving later on in the song, but you can hear the A-B right here. Ah, uh, Southern Alabama. Ah, uh, Southern Alabama, where my grandma from. Summer. Got me? Okay, cool. That helps keep the vocal in my face. I keep the dynamics from the original performance, but I squeeze the snot out of the parallel chain and tuck it up under it. It gives me a little more bottom end warmth and stuff. Uh, slap. These are all pretty straight ahead things. So this is with everything. Ah, uh, Southern Alabama, where my grandma from. Some would call it home. Some would call it a slum. And though we moved to California, switch, switch, switch up the slay. I'm just a California country boy at home on the rain. Yeah, Cal California. Ah, uh, Southern Alabama, where my grandma from. Now we're we're adding a lot of gain, so don't let that trick you. But you can definitely feel the performance building as we add these things. Oh, why am I doing this? Here we go. Ah, uh, Southern Alabama, where my grandma from. Some would call it home, some would call it a slum. And though we moved to California, switch, switch, switch up the slang. I'm just a California country boy at home on the rain. Yeah, Cal California. A lot of fun, huh? A lot of cool stuff. Um, now, these concepts will work on any vocal. So these, I spent a little time on this one because uh, I want you to look at this particular uh, example first because it, it, it applies to rock, it applies to hip hop, country, blues, anything you want. Uh, and it also can apply, if you think about it, to some uh, acoustic instrument performances. So, so the concept is that you're trying to analyze where the energy is, how the timing feels, all those sorts of things. And then you, you construct something that, um, that's going to give you uh, enhancements of those. I heard it in there. I just wasn't feeling it. And, and, and that was really bothering me. Ah, uh, Southern Alabama, where my grandma from. Some would call it home, some would call it a slum. And though we moved to California, switch, switch, switch up the slang. I'm just a California country boy at home on the rain. Yeah, Cal California. Okay, all right. Oh, one little thing. Um, if, if these things don't come to you immediately, then then you're no different than me. It took me it took me a long time. We're we're talking like three, four, five, six years to, 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 to understand what I was trying to do with the vocal. I always just tried to make it sound good. I always put reverb on it because I always thought you were supposed to. And if I could get something like a plate, I thought, okay, it needs a plate. Okay, it needs this. Okay, I got to put a compressor on it. But I didn't really know why. And I probably ruined a lot of mixes. So don't automatically assume you, you need to put something on. I showed you I, I'm using a lot of different things, and you don't need to use all these things. And if you don't have these exact things, use yours. You can do this a lot, a lot easier with with just a couple of things. Just get a good compressor, or even a bad compressor. Just use it, use it till it sounds good. Get your EQs, use it till it sounds good, 
And, and the difference between you and me is not that I have more taste than you or better taste than you, it's just I can do it quicker. So a pro does it quicker, an amateur does it slower, but we do the same exact things and we, and we should be doing the same exact thing. So don't assume that just because you're not earning a living doing this that you can't do it. You've got the taste. Nobody can take that away from you. You've had that all your life. It's just that the experience on, 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 of, of, for me, I've, I've, I've pulled up a lot of things that didn't work. And I remember, the, I remember what they did that I didn't like, but the next song, it might be something that I like. So I've got that experience. Experiences in doing this a lot is, is just, you can't do it enough, okay? And, and don't always try to get it perfect with just one, one piece of outboard gear or one piece of plug-in take little chunks off little bites off and then you'll 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 uh, i should have left all the all the things i tried to get to this i probably tried 10 different plugins down here i probably tried three or four different pieces of analog gear outboard gear i've got a lot of that and and i've tried i tried a lot of different effects um and this is what i felt gave me the best performance you can do it i know you can all right